Hey, it's me, Hank. And me, George, coming at you with yet another weekly news update. Let's see what we got in store for us today. Our first topic today is one that the student body would most likely agree with, and has been an ongoing issue for a few years now. This looming issue is being able to order only one entree in the lunch line. We would like to immediately address the counter argument, which is the fact that we can order as much food as we want online. This is by far the best option to secure the food you want, but this should not be the only way to get an adequate amount of food. Usually if you're at the end of the line, by the time you get the chance to buy food, they're completely out, forcing you to survive off a cheese stick and maybe a bag of chips. We personally feel like this would be an extremely issue to solve because it has been a consistent problem for so long when the school could just or simply order more food to begin with. We estimate that even with an increased food supply of 50%, it would sell out every day. On to our next topic. One of the most fun and interactive times of the week is assembly, when we get to pack into the commons every Wednesday for the weekly announcements. Although it's a lot of fun trying to play Tetris with fitting people into the center of the commons, it would be a, a little bit more comfortable for everyone if there was the option to utilize the space on the outside of the commons as well as the, at the middle. I feel like this is something that is way too enforced and in the grand scheme of things is irrelevant because the announcements can still be easily heard from the outside. Well George, another little something I didn't notice is that uh, IQ Week is not offered to seniors. Senior year is a very stressful and sad time to be spent with friends and classmates before college. IQ Week is a perfect time to do this with all the fun options provided. However, this week is not offered. This time could be used to spend our last days with our classmates and make good memories to look back on later in life. Personally, one of my best high school memories comes from IQ Week. On to the final subject of today. Time to tackle this giant. Homecoming is coming up next week. This is a time of excitement and hopefully a little bit of rejection. It is the most exciting week of the year with all the activities ranging from dance-off to relay races. This is the week for everyone, every class, to prove their true worth and to show their skills. Hopefully this year the judging will be fair and just so all the grades have a chance to become victorious. Starting off the week on Monday is the classic Ships and Sailors game, which usually turns from a family-friendly fun game to an all-out gladiatorial battle until the final champion arises. On Tuesday is the fast-paced relay race on the good old gridiron, where the grades battle it out running back and forth to win yet another day for their grade. The day that the true champions arise is the dance-off, where each grade will compose a choreographed dance and then perform it in the commons for the entire school to see. Thursday is the day everybody is waiting for, the student-faculty basketball game, where the students finally get the chance to become the superiors and take an easy victory over the teachers. Finally, Friday is the pep rally, in which all grades get to show off the past two weeks worth of work and in their banners, floats, and cheers. Then to cap off the week is the homecoming dance on Saturday night in which all the students and teachers get down and jiggy with it on the dance floor. Yeah. George. And Hank. Signing off. off.